So I'm supporting my, my dear friend John McCain in uh, uh, 2008. And uh, it's the fall, it's about a week before the vice presidential debate. And they asked me if I will go to Philadelphia. Of course, I was through this in, in 2000. Uh, they squeeze in these preparations for debates between, you know, uh, going to uh, Gino's uh, cheesesteak place and uh, a, a fundraiser in you know, Jersey or whatever. And so uh, Governor Palin was in a hotel in uh, Philadelphia uh, practicing for the debate. They asked me if I'd go up because I'd, I had met her in Minneapolis at the convention. We established a good relationship. Anyway, uh, and, and I'd obviously been through a vice presidential debate. So I walked in and she was practicing. They were asking her questions. I, I remember having been impressed when I met her in Minneapolis. She was really off and uh, it just wasn't right. And uh, they, they called a break. We all went out in the room, out, outside of the room. It was in one of these uh, suites, you know, like a conference room in a hotel with stale food all around and sort of half finished coffee cups and anyway uh, two odd podiums set up for her and somebody playing uh, Joe Biden and uh, we went out in the hall and the McCain campaign was in a panic because they felt like this was they were on the verge of a disaster at the debate she just wasn't registering wasn't doing well and then Steve Schmidt it was John's campaign manager said to me um, do me a favor you've got something in common with uh, Sarah Palin, with her, that the rest of us don't have. So I said, what's that, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're both religious. So go in and talk to her, maybe pray with her. I said, jeez, give me a break. <laughs> so uh, I said, okay, you know, I liked her. and. Uh, it, was, it was one of those right. great, only in America, Judeo-Christian right. moments. That's right. And I tell you, as That's funny right. as it is, he actually understood something. So um, I went in and I started to talk to her and I said, how are you doing? And she said, Venus, you open right up. I'm off today. I just, it's a bad day without uh, uh, washing la dirty laundry in public. These, she was not happy with the McCain campaign. They're not handling me right. This is not right. And I forgot how I opened up the conversation, but basically said, look, you, you've got an extraordinary moment of opportunity, and you, you've got to believe, I know you're religious, but you've got to believe you're here for a, a reason. And she laughed and said, yeah, that's, I, she said, there must be a reason. It's so un unbelievable that I'm here running for vice president. And I, had, I, I asked her, and I took a guess, because I knew she was religious and familiar with scripture. I said, are you familiar with the book of Esther? Oh, of course I am. I, I read it to my daughter. I said, I went through the whole thing. You know that part where her uncle Mordecai tells her to go to the king to ask to, for him to save the Jewish people from the evil prime minister. And then this sentence, you know, when she's reluctant, perhaps this is the reason you were brought to the king's palace. If, if you don't do it, somebody else will come along. And um, she said, oh, that's great. I hadn't thought of that.